Dogs are one of the most popular pets. They're loved for their adorable nature and expressiveness. Moreover, they're extremely loving and loyal. You'll find your dog waiting impatiently for you to return home and pouncing on you as soon as you open the door to welcome you and embrace you. From their eyes to their warm smiles and adorable tails that wag from left to right, there are several different gestures that dogs use to express themselves and their feelings. However, there are certain signs that your dog may use to indicate that it needs help. As a dog owner, you should be aware of these signs so that you can take immediate action and ensure that your furry friend remains comfortable and at ease. Here are the signs that you should be looking out for and their meaning. Number 1. Barking or Growling Excessively Dogs are social and playable animals. They love to have company around and always make friends within minutes. But most of the times, dogs like to express themselves physically. They will rarely bark or growl. Barking and growling is usually a sign of calling for help. But if you find that your dog has made it a habit to growl or bark, it means that there might be something wrong. In this case, when you find your dog growling, try and comfort it. Examine the dog to try and find out the reason of why the dog might be barking. If the dog is barking around a certain person or dog, it might feel uncomfortable around them. Try and get to the root of the issue and rectify the situation so you can ensure your dog remains comfortable. Number 2. Breathing heavily You might find your dog breathing excessively with the tongue hanging out after coming back from a walk or after excessive physical activity. But if the dog is breathing heavily on a regular basis, it may be a cry for help. Dogs breathe heavily when their heart rate goes up and they need to supply oxygen to the body. Although it's okay after exercising, it should not be a normal breathing pattern. Heavy breathing otherwise can indicate respiratory diseases or may be a sign of congestion in the air passage of the dog. Number 3. Vomiting If you find that your dog is peeking out food, you should immediately be alarmed. Feeding your dog is a responsibility that you should be very careful and vigilant about. Keep an eye on the amount of food that you're feeding your dog. Sometimes, dogs end up puking as a result of overeating. Occasionally, vomiting is acceptable as sometimes dogs also vomit to clear their throats. Some dogs also throw up if you change the food that they are being fed and they don't like the taste of the new one. But if your dog has made it a habit to throw up after every meal, you should be rushing to the vet as soon as possible. Number 4. Winking or Weeping You would have surely come across many pictures and videos of winking dogs. Don't the dogs look cute when they're winking? They absolutely do. But as a dog owner, you need to be aware of the meaning behind a dog winking. It indicates that the dog's eyes are irritated or there is something in their eyes that is making the dog uncomfortable. Weeping is also not a good sign. Dogs shed tears and weep if their eyes are too dry and this is their attempt of lubricating their eyes to get rid of the dryness. Number 5. Excessive Salivation and Licking Dogs pant and often have their tongues hanging outside of their mouths. This is because they use salivation as a means for cooling down. They also lick themselves quite often. It is a way for them to groom themselves. However, you'll notice that there's always a limit to the licking and salivation in dogs. If you find your dog salivating excessively, it may be a sign of oral diseases or toxins. The saliva should not be coming out of their mouths or be foam-like. If you notice any such sign, it means that your dog needs your attention. Try and examine the dog's mouth to remove any toxic element that it might have consumed. If you see that the mouth is clear, observe the dog for a while longer. But if the salivation and licking persists, rush to the vet. Number 6. Change in Appetite Change in appetite is a very big red flag. It is always advised to follow a fixed feeding routine so that you can be aware of your pet's eating habits. But if your dog is refusing to eat, it may be a sign of illness. Majority of diseases are known to take away the dog's appetite and leave them refusing food. To confirm this, try offering your dog a treat that is otherwise won't refuse. If the dog still refuses to eat, you should check for other symptoms that may indicate illness. Number 7. Limping Dogs can develop a temporary limp if the dog has been on a very long walk or it has played around, it is natural for its limbs to feel sore which might lead to a limp. But this limp that is a result of being tired should not last for more than a couple of hours. If you find your dog limping and having trouble moving around for a longer time period, there are chances that your dog might have gotten hurt. Try touching the limb that is limping. If the dog whimpers or you find it licking a particular limb, you should check for an injury. Number 8. Excessive Scratching Dogs are hairy animals and they do shed a lot of hair. In order to get rid of the excessive hair on their bodies, they do scratch their bodies. Therefore, it is advised that you brush your dog on a regular basis so that the hair can be removed and the dogs don't have to scratch their bodies a lot. However, excessive scratching, especially around the ears, can be an indication of infections. 
Dogs scratch their bodies a lot when they have fleas, skin infection, or any ear infection. Number 9. Lethargy and Laziness Dogs are very active animals. Actually, they can be rightfully labeled as a power pack of energy. Dog owners can often find themselves struggling to drain their dog's energy. You'll rarely see dogs sitting idly around, but if you notice that your furry friend is lazy or lethargic, you should be alarmed. At times, the dog might just be tired. But if the lethargy is persistent and it seems as if the dog is finding it difficult to even respond to your calls, you should take it as a sign of illness or distress. Number 10. Biting and Chewing on Things Dogs are notorious for chewing on things. Tearing apart shoes and slippers seems to be their favorite pastime, but this should be a habit that has a limit. If you find your dog biting and chewing excessively, you need to get to the root of the problem. Most of the times, it indicates an oral disease. Dogs try to get rid of irritation in the gums by chewing and biting things, and this behavior is more common in dogs whose owners don't pay attention to their oral hygiene. Number 11. Asking for too many belly rubs Dogs love it when their owners give them belly rubs. It's a playful gesture, but if your dog is demanding too many belly rubs, you should consider keeping an eye on it. Dogs excessively demand belly rubs if they are experiencing a tummy ache. Sometimes, dogs may also get clingy and demand too many belly rubs because of a rash or a skin infection near their belly. Number 12. Pooing too little or too much You should always keep an eye on your dog's pooing habits. If your dog is pooping too much or the stool is hard or liquidy, it may be a sign of illness. Similarly, if your dog has not pooped for a couple of days, this too is a sign that may be indicating some underlying illness. Number 13. Whimpering and trembling the most common reason of why dogs whimper or tremble is because they are anxious. Separation anxiety is the leading cause of whimpering in dogs. Therefore, if your dog is whining or whimpering, it means it demands some attention and you should go ahead and spare some time to spend with your dog as soon as possible. Number 14. Sleeping too much Dogs like to spend most of their time roaming around and playing. Your dog may take some naps throughout the day, but if you feel like the dog is sleeping for too long and is having difficulty waking up, you should keep an eye on it for a while to ensure that there is nothing wrong with your dog. Has your dog ever showed any of these signs? What did you do about it? Were you aware of the true meaning behind these signs? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more such informational videos.